Welcome to Wine Vault TV, New Zealand's most passionate wine, internet wine show, I should say. I always forget that little bit. Um, I haven't done um, these for a while because I've been a bit bit crook. Um, and uh, just like, been absolutely flat out, but hopefully I've been giving you enough content through the written wine reviews part and uh, news and reviews as it is now. But um, this is going to be a little cheeky. I, I reviewed this earlier... Um, as a written review, and now I'm going to show you what it is on video. This is the Craggy Range Takahu 2008 Single Vineyard 90 points um, Bob Campbell, 14% alcohol, and it's 64% Merlot, 15% Cabernet Franc, 14% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, and 7% Malbec from memory. Um, now, I've said this and called this in the past, possibly New Zealand's greatest best value wine um, currently. Um, you see, it's kind of nice crimson, golden, dark cherry um, colour there. Now, what I get off here, I, I get a kind of cigar box, a um, little bit of cedar, bramble. And then I get all of those kind of quite autumnal black fruits that um, blackberry, black cherry, also a bit of kind of raspberry there. And a little kind of subtle hint of kind of oak at the back. This wine is really, really young. And um, so I get. It doesn't feel overly aggressive. There's no kind of alcohol kind of showing through, and I'm quite sensitive to a bit of alcohol. Kind of get a bit of burny, burny action going on if it's uh, if it's out of balance. But this one is in balance, and it it just really kind of aids the, the silkiness of this wine. You still get a little bit of kind of puckering, bit of cheek pull in there. Um, ideally, match with a bit of venison, a bit of uh, wild boar if you can get it. I know that Aaron from Fiasco Wines going hunting, so he'll probably have some fairly soon. Um, but it really kind of matches that kind of bit of very rare beef, and um, but you get that blackberry cassis, um, black cherry, um, little bit of kind of earthy savouriness there as well. And um, like it's, I think it's like twenty one dollars or twenty two dollars, certainly under twenty five bucks. I, I would say that you probably have a great difficulty in getting a wine that could match that kind of quality right now in New Zealand um, across all red wines. Um, and that kind of really is, is the benchmark for me. And th these guys have got, they own 100 hectares in, a, in Gimlet Gravels, which is kind of in Hawke's Bay down on the east coast of the North Island. And it's kind of a really kind of alluvial plain, an old riverbed was going to be quarried and uh, then Alan Limmer from Stonecroft um, got a petition up, managed to save it and saw the viticultural potential and now they're producing some of the, the greatest red wines that even challenge and match some of the, the certainly the growth Bordeaux's that are coming. Sorry, the battery went. Um, so for me, um, yeah, they've got 100 hectares out of the 850, 850 hectares. So for me, kind of they are they are the benchmark of certainly like for price point. I mean, they do um, Sophia, which is also a Merlot, Merlot predominant, and, and they've got the Quarry, which is a Cabernet predominant. But um, one of the nice things about this also is that it's under cork. And I know that kind of that will horrify most of the New Zealand viewers, um, certainly in the restaurant trade, because it's not as easy opening and saving, which for me, you just put a cork there, it's pretty easy. Um, but the word appellation and cork in New Zealand tends to uh, polarise and horrify most of the wine industry over here. But um, anyway, 92 points, five stars. Yeah, I would get a case, but I recommend anybody get a case, but. Adiós.